the dark side. <laughs> Dumb. Hey guys, who's out there today? Uh, welcome back to another episode of Halloween at the Manor. Uh, this is going to be the haunt update number three. So basically behind me, you'll see that um, Vanessa and I ended up taking down the walkthrough. Uh, you saw in the last video that we set it up in the backyard, kind of just wanted to test it out. Uh, it gave us some ideas of how we want to be able to set it up when we do it in the main yard. Uh, you know, in like late September, early October. So that was a good thing. So some other updates here. I actually got all of this fencing painted over the last few days. Uh, saying this is a nightmare is probably an understatement, but this just, this just sucked. So I'm so happy that it's done. So all 16 sections of eight foot fencing are now painted and ready to go. I also, up top here, I also painted all of these as well. Uh, this is our smaller fencing. Uh, this was actually made uh, two years ago in uh, 2019, I believe, or 2020, uh, for our little wedding scene area out there in the yard. So what I ended up doing was, is we did use this fencing last year in the carnival. However, we painted it all like crazy colors, reds, yellows, greens, blues, all that stuff. So what I did was, is I ended up repainting everything the black, uh, gray, and the rust. And I even made, I believe, I can't believe it, I can't remember if it was one or two more sections of this. So all of this fencing is now eight feet long. Uh, it used to be, I think we had like two eight foot sections and then we had like a couple of like, you know, I think a, maybe two sixes and two twos, like something like that. So this is all done now too. So this fencing is actually going to go, I'll take you out real quick here into the yard. Uh, this is actually going to go in the back part of the yard here. Um, that smaller fencing, which is only 30 inches tall, is going to line this whole area here and take uh, take you right to the uh, the walkthrough that's going to be over there. So I got all that done too. So what I'm working on now is, um, like I said, when we put this walkthrough up, it gave us some ideas. Uh, I'm going to work on um, building an actual doorway. Uh, I tried something and it didn't work when we did the walkthrough. We were way off. So I want to make sure that when we set this thing up, all of the measurements are really close and we're not way off and this is going to kind of mess everything up. So that's kind of what I'm working on now. And uh, as I do other things, I will, uh, I'll videotape it and I'll uh, show you guys. As I mentioned in the intro that I wanted to make a doorway for the, um, the walkthrough, uh, originally right there i built that piece there it's uh one foot wide by seven foot tall that was going to be uh butted up against the fence and then basically three feet and then the next panel and that would have been the doorway however it just didn't work out so what i wanted to do is i wanted to make sure that when we set this whole thing up uh, everything lines up so what i decided to do is i made this doorway here and it's four feet wide, seven feet tall, and then the actual entrance is three feet. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna take some of this um, old plywood I have from last year, our carnival, and I'm gonna try to run it uh, up and down the sides here to cover this. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint it uh, the same color that I painted like the, um, the mausoleum facade. I wanna make sure that people know that's the entrance way to get in, so. I did do that. I'm going to be working on this next. Uh, hopefully, getting. Uh, hopefully, I have enough of this uh, this thin plywood that I have from last year to uh, to get this covered. All right, guys. I did end up having enough of the uh, thin plywood that I use, the five millimeter plywood, uh, to be able to cover the door frame. So uh, this is what I ended up doing with it. Uh, like I mentioned, this is uh, this is four feet wide and seven feet tall. And then the actual entrance way for the people to walk in, this is three feet. So I ended up putting these um, these pieces of uh, two by four on here uh, so we can stick candles on there at night, which I think will be pretty cool. And basically just painted this thing like I've been painting 
the other stuff, you know, the other mausoleum facade stuff, just uh, gray and then just kind of sponged on some white. So I uh, got that done, which I think is pretty cool. So now we have an actual doorway to get into the walkthrough. Um, and this will go right up against the fence. And uh, what we also do is we're gonna hang some, um, maybe some canvas drop cloth or creepy cloth or something. We're gonna hang something down here so that the uh, the people kind of have to, have to, you know, like kind of go through there and, and get ready to get uh, get spooked. All right, guys, so what I've been doing is, is I've been working on trying to get the mausoleum facade raised a foot. So what I'm doing is I'm starting out with the one side now. So this is one of the sides of the mausoleum facade that I built two years ago. So what I did was, is just like I did with this over here, I added a uh, basically a foot increase up and now I'm just trying to blend it together with this uh, other wall here. So basically just kind of wherever there's trim, I'm putting trim, you know, just trying to line everything up as best I can. So I'm confident that I got this side done, which is cool. Uh, now I got to work on the other side, basically do the same exact thing. All right, guys. So had a lot of good progress today. Uh, was able to get both sides of the mausoleum facade raised a foot. Uh, yeah, of course, you can see on the bottom here what is not painted is what I did today. So that's great. Um, honestly, didn't get, didn't expect to get that done today. Uh, what's also cool is they line up perfectly with the two walls uh, here that are going to be on the side. So uh, really happy with uh, what I got done today. Uh, the next step is going to be just uh, hauling the mausoleum in here, the, the very front of the mausoleum. And trying to get that raised up and get everything lined up as well. All right, guys, so I'm pretty pumped. The uh, mausoleum facade, the face of the mausoleum facade is now raised up to uh, exactly seven feet tall. So uh, all the sides now uh, are gonna be seven feet tall, which will match the, uh, the frames right here, which is awesome. Uh, basically, just gonna keep this really simple as far as the design goes. Um, just gonna paint this gray and then probably probably whiten it up a little bit, but I've done all of the uh, the caulking, uh, got all the seams sealed up. So next thing is I'm just gonna let this, uh, this caulk dry and then uh, we're gonna start painting. The all right, guys, I got all of the bases that I built, the foot increase on all of the walls painted. And um, this is what I had vision when I painted it. Uh, I just went over it with a, a white paint and then basically just sponged on some gray. I was looking for like, almost like a, um, almost like a marble look, a white marble, if you will. Uh, that's kind of what I was going for with this. Um, so this is gonna be all of the bottoms of the, um, the mausoleum facade are gonna have or have this same paint job. So even the walls back here, which are gonna be the sides, it's gonna be hard to see, but they have the uh, they have the same paint job as well. It's the white, per, 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 primarily white with the little, with the gray kind of sponged on. So, uh, what I want to do is maybe tomorrow or the, the next day, or maybe even over the weekend, um, I want to put the whole facade together just to see what it looks like. Um, overall. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I think it actually looks pretty good. Uh, I really wanted to get this mausoleum facade put together and put up. So instead of lugging this thing out to the front yard, uh, I decided to just set it up here in the garage. Uh, I don't know if that was a good idea or not, but uh, anyway, I do have this thing together. I'm sorry that it's set up in the garage. Uh, I know the lighting in here isn't great, but um, you guys will eventually see this uh, when it's in the yard uh, come late September, early October. Um, I am missing one piece. Uh, there is a piece that goes over the top of the entrance, uh, basically just has um, P and M on it for Petroleum Manor and has a skull, but uh, I can't fit that in here and really no point to put that on. But uh, anyway, I'm really happy with the way that this came out. Um, very happy with the new addition here, this foot addition. Uh, it seems to flow really nicely throughout the entire mausoleum facade. And I'm really liking the color too that uh, whitish grayish marble. Um, I did have to repaint this wall and the wall over there because the paint that I used from Home Depot was a little bit darker than the one that I used to paint this mausoleum facade that I made two years ago in 2020. So I did go back over that and paint it. Uh, 
basically how I painted my stones. And as you can see, it's pretty close. This is still a little bit darker, but it doesn't really matter. No one's gonna really notice it. But um, overall, really happy with the way that this came out. I am gonna have to go over the, uh, the old facade here. Uh, I see some things that need to be touched up as far as paint and stuff, but uh, overall, I'm really happy with the way this came out. I think this looks really good. Um, like I said, really happy with the way the addition came out and everything like that. Um, I do have the uh, the two shelves here. I just didn't put those on. Uh, I'm just going to wait till that goes on the... Um, I'll put those on when we put this thing outside. Uh, I will also add some of these vines here. We have a whole bag of these vines downstairs in the basement. Uh, just not going to do it now. We'll wait till we get this thing outside come late September, early October. But uh, the only thing I have left to do is, and I'll take you guys back here. Uh, I just have to paint uh, the back walls here. Uh, they're all, most of them is wood. So anything that's wood, I'm just gonna paint it black. Uh, the mausoleum facade is mostly black because I already painted that two years ago. But just probably the additions in this, uh, this new wall here. But um, gotta do that. And um, there was originally a gate for this, a wrought iron gate that I made. It's out in our uh, our storage shed in the backyard. Uh, I was going to make a larger one. However, Vanessa and I were talking and it's probably not worth doing. Plus she made up a good point that what if somebody gets kind of snagged on it? I was thinking that I'd have it like open, but uh, she's right, if somebody gets snagged on it, you know, that could take it down. And honestly, it's really not needed, so. Uh, anyway, this is it. This is what it looks like. Uh, I'm really happy with this. So uh, I know I mentioned this before. This will be the face and the exit of our uh, mausoleum, of our walkthrough this year. So um, I think this is going to be a uh, pretty cool presentation in the front yard when people uh, people see this. But um, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, there are some other things that I have to do. Uh, We'll have to finally pull the trigger and go out and buy some black plastic sheeting to get this covered. Hopefully, maybe do that maybe next week, uh, get that done. But um, the biggest part of this thing, this mausoleum facade and raising this up is done. And uh, that's a pretty big load off the back there. But uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and take care.